All right, we're going to continue working on the beginnings of our multiplication. So what we're looking at now is the skip counting, which we have worked with a little bit. So what we're going to do is on the number line, we're going to skip count. So this is six groups of four. So what I'm going to do is jump by four six times. So I start at zero and go four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six jumps or six groups of four and I ended at 24. So my answer is going to be 24. Okay, I got my mouse. Try the next one here. Seven groups of three. So seven groups of three is the same thing as seven times three. So what I'm gonna do on my number line is take jumps of three. So I'm gonna go start at zero, always start at zero. There's my first group, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So right there, my seventh jump got me to 21. So seven jumps of three, or seven groups of three, is 21. So we're gonna look at this with some word problems. Okay. I'm gonna do some of these and I'll let you turn out and do your own. Let's look at this one here. Sam, Kyra, Tia, and Abigail each have 10 pennies. So that's one, two, three, four people. So that's 10, 10, 10, 10. Four groups of 10. It's the same thing as 40, okay? And the way that looks as a multiplication problem is 10 pennies times four groups equals 40. So we'll move on to the next one now. So when each person has the same, whenever you see that word each, that's when you're thinking of multiplication because that's where you're evenly getting groups, even groups. Each person has that group. So over here, Eddie. Eddie bought snacks for a picnic. He has three bags of snacks. So let's draw a picture for this one. Bag of snacks, bag of snacks, bag of snacks. There's my three bags of snacks. Each bag has four snacks in it. So I'm gonna go evenly give them out. Each bag has the same number. They're equal groups. So the main thing we're doing here is equal groups. So I have three groups of four. So the way that multiplication looks, I guess I can write it here for your answer. Three groups times four. So there's a couple ways we can look at this. We can think about right here how we have, we can just count our groups. You go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So my answer is 12. Or you can skip count. And the way that would look, skip counting wise, we go up here, we have a, we've already did our jumps of threes here. So there's just gonna be three jumps. One, two, three, four, sorry, four jumps, because we have four groups. So you're gonna get that 12 again. So you can skip count or draw the pictures. I'll do two more with us here, and then turn you out on your own to do the rest. So when you fill this out on Kami, just ignore the ones that I did. You don't have to do those on Kami, because we did them together. Unless you really feel like doing them and wanna do them as extra work. I just know that it's hard to do cami and follow along with the video at the same time. So I'm not going to make you do it. But if you want to do them, you can. And if not, I completely get that too. All right, so let's look here at Ashley. Ashley digs seven holes. She puts two seeds in each hole. She has three seeds left over. So this is a two-step word problem. This is going to be a tough one. First thing we need to do is figure out this seven holes, two seeds. 
So it's going to be the same thing as 7 times 2. So I don't want to draw 7 holes. That's a lot of drawing. So what I want to do is do 2 groups of 7. So 2 groups of 7 looks like this, right? Add a 7 and a 7. There's a group. There's a group. Add them together. So you have 14. So 7 times 2 is going to be 14. But we're not done yet because she has these three seeds left over. So you're going to take your 14. And then you're going to add the leftover seed, three seeds to get to 17 seeds. Because they want to know in all. So you got to make sure you add that leftover. Okay. Let's look at the rest of this. So you're going to do these practice problems here. So this is three shelves of eight. Three times eight. So here you're trying to make 12 with multiplication problems. So how can you do even jumps to get to 12? Two different ways. So I would look at twos. I would look at threes. I would look at fours. Then you're going to write your own problem. Write a problem that can be solved finding eight groups of five. And you're going to find a multiplication problem. Write, a, write the multiplication problem to solve that. And then down here in 16, Rebecca practiced piano for three hours each week. How many hours did she practice in four? So how many groups? So your each week is four. Uh, your groups are four, four groups, because each week's a group. And then three hours in each. So you're going to do those jumps. And then the homework, I'll let you tear off on your own and do those. Okay. Any questions, comment on Google Classroom, and I'll help you. Um, go back and look at the video more than once if you need to. Whatever makes this easiest. Good job, boys.